Welcome to the Simply Rhino Rhino for Mac tutorial series. I'm Sean from Simply Rhino and this is a tutorial in which we'll be covering absolute coordinates, relative coordinates and distance angle constraint. I'm going to start by just expanding the top view. So I'll just double click on the word top. I'm going to start by just defining a 5x5 five five box by using a polyline. So I'm going to come over to the left here and click on the tool here, polyline. Now in bold, Rhino's asking me for a start of polyline. My cursor has changed from an arrow to crosshairs, which means that Rhino requires a left click on the screen or a, t or a value to be typed into this box here. If I type in 0 and press enter, Rhino will recognize that as a shortcut to the origin. Okay, We don't need to type in 0, 0, comma 0. Now, in order to find the other uh, point on this box, I'm going to type in another absolute coordinate. Now, I just need to work out what that coordinate is, and I need to make sure I type it into this box here, and I separate it with a comma. Now, if I'm moving, if I'm defining a 5 by 5 box, and drawing it in an anti-clockwise direction, 5 comma 5 will be the next coordinate. The next coordinate is up in the corner here, and I'm going to define that with another coordinate by typing in 5 comma 5. Okay, so that's x comma y, always separated with a comma. Now to define this point here, again, I need to just calculate what that coordinate would be. And that would be 0 in the x and 5 in the y. Now, in order to close this object, I can click on the word close, I can run my cursor over that particular point, revealing the object snap of point, or I could type in C, enter. Now, let's have a look at relative coordinates now. It's a bit easier way of defining points, because Rhino will be aware of the last point that I chose. So again, I'm going to click on polyline here, start a polyline in bold. Now I need to define this with a absolute coordinate, the very first point, um, because relative coordinates of course have to be relative to something. So if I type in 8 comma 0, the line will appear. Now if I want to draw a triangle, and I'm going to define the hypotenuse now, I'm going to type in the word R first of all. That's, going to, that's short for relative. Now I need to just work out where this point is relative to the last point that I've defined. If I type in 5, comma 5, there, it will be 5 in the x and 5 in the y. Now, in order, if I wanted to create a right angle triangle here using relative coordinates, type in r. Now I need to define whether or not I'm traveling in a positive or a minus direction. In this case, I'm traveling minus. So I type in minus 5, comma 0, press enter. Now again, in order to close this, I can place my cursor over this point and make a left click. Now let's have a look at distance and angle constraint. This is a different way of defining points. We define the points by breaking them down into two separate inputs. Let's run the polyline command again. And I'm just going to choose a point somewhere on the construction plane. Now, if I type in 5 and press enter, Rhino will recognize that as a distance of 5. And what I need to confirm now is the orientation. So I can confirm that with a left click on the construction plane. Let's just do that again, different dimension. I type in 4, press enter. Now, in order to get this line horizontal, I can hold down the shift key and that will activate orthogonal. So you can see as I move my cursor, I'm moving in increments of 90 degrees. So I hold down the shift key, I make a left click. Now, if I wanted to create an angle other than my orthogonal setting, what I would do was that I would select the angle symbol, which is above the comma on the keyboard. And I type in, for example, 20. I press enter. There. Now I've got increments of 20 degrees. If I type in the distance now, say 3, I'm now moving at increments of 20 degrees and a distance of 3. Left click. Notice then, actually, in that example, I actually chose the angle constraint before I did the distance. But we could, of course, we could do it both ways. If I type in 2, enter, there's my distance of 2. 
Now, if I type in angle symbol, for example, followed by 10, I press enter, there I have increments of 10 degrees. I choose the first increment, which will be 10. I press enter to close the command. Thanks for joining us for this tutorial. I hope that was helpful. Please subscribe to our Simply Rhino, Rhino for Mac YouTube channel in order to receive notifications of our new tutorials as they are added. Thank you. Bye.